Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. It's Bro on another solo mission this morning. He's out of the new permission. He has his new HD camera to do the filming with, which is better than that old thing of his. He's got a scope cam today as well. So he should be filming with two cameras and shooting. He's getting quite adept at this. He spotted this squirrel coming in. Despite the fact he's got a new camera, lighting levels aren't helping matters at all. This one wants its breakfast. It's come straight in and up onto the feeder. And unlike previous weeks, where we've had to contend with some pretty bad wind, today is a very still morning. Forecast for today, some quite unseasonably good weather. Which is all the more advantage for Bro. He's got no wind waving his hide around, which seems to be a big problem in weeks gone by. It just makes it all the more comfortable to sit there waiting for squirrels. And this squirrel seems to have set up home on that feeder. Quite happily having his breakfast. As you can see, Bro's starting to fidget a bit more. I think he's slowly trying to get his rifle up and get it into position and get his camcorder open and get it all set up. Hear the beep as the camcorder gets switched on. There's a sight picture. Bro's getting ready to take his shot. And a nice shot it was too. Much better result than in previous weeks. Nicely calm squirrel. And a nicely dead wind straight after. The morning's got a bit brighter now. This is number two squirrel for the day. Coming in from the hedgerow. And rather unsurprisingly, we have an inspector of the one on the floor. It's going to be on the post, which is quite irritating when they do that. This one showed no signs it doesn't want to have its breakfast. It's jumped on the back of the post and run up it. Bro's picked it up in the scope cam now. It's coming down to feed. And that ledge on the front of that feeder is going to have to be got rid of, I think. Can't keep having them sit that way. Not a very good shot on. And bro just has to be patient. That's more like it. And again, the head movement's far too quick. You want it to sit feeding ideally when they're moving around like that. Far too fidgety. Tempting. Stayed still far too long. Muscle spasm, those sharp claws grab hold of the ledge of the feeder. And a few kicks on the floor. A well taken shot. See the blood out of the ear. It's never a good sign for a squirrel. Very good sign for Bro, though. That's number two down. It's quite good disposition because you can see them approaching from the hedge. Get a chance to get the one camera going. Record the action as they come in. And whilst that's recording, you can get the scope cam up and ready. Does make filming a bit easier. That one's had a panic attack. He's missed it now, he's looking at the wrong post. Sometimes difficult to line it up on them. There it is. Not sure what spooked that one. It doesn't run far. Doesn't seem too upset. It's offering a shot to the back of the head. Bro's not keen on it today. Moves back a bit further. I'd like to see a bit more of its head than that, ideally. Bro's not making any attempt to line the crosshairs up on it. Might look like he's going to take a body shot, but he's not actually going to take a shot at all. He would never take a shot on the body from there. He'd go for the head. I think he's trying to work out whether or not he can take a headshot here. The crosshairs aren't moving towards it, so that's what I think he's thinking. This is more like it. See a bit more head now. Just under the ear would be a good spot. And indeed it was. 
and knock that one down quite well. We have another one. It'll appear in a minute. It's seen it coming from the left. Turn the camcorder on. Just got to watch it approach. And there it is as it enters the screen to the left. Sits up to survey the dead squirrels on the ground. Noticeably, they don't seem to be too bothered by the hide this morning. It's not flapping around. It's in the same position it always is. So I'm starting to think that it's the wind that was making the problem before. This one's flicking its tail. As soon as it started to inspect the one on the ground, that's when Bro started to move. As its attention was taken by its fallen comrade, Bro decided to move in the hope that it wouldn't see him. Now it's gone beyond the post. It's just hoping it's going to approach the feeder. It's still showing a lot of nervous behaviour. Seems to be going back to that one. There's another two on the floor to inspect. It'll be very interesting to find out what the problem is with that squirrel as opposed to the other two. Maybe it knows that squirrel. Maybe they've had some sort of dealings in the past. Who knows? It's definitely interested in that one, rather than the other two. There's no way you can take a shot when they're moving like that. A few more tail flicks. Start to make an approach. Now it's discovered another one. Gives it a bit of a sniff over. Less tail flick in there. I spent a lot less time checking that one out. Rather irritatingly gone beyond the post. Let's have another sniff of that other one. Doesn't seem too bothered by them two. The other one, though, seemed very interesting to it. But never mind, it's on the top of the feeder now. It's a straight on shot. But it's dancing around way too much. That's more like it. Setting down for the ledge on the side of the feeder. And that's exactly what we were waiting for all this time. And he drops him clean. And prompts he looks at the wrong post. Back to the right a bit, bro. Ah, never mind. The shot was good. You won't need another one. Bro's clocked another one on the left coming in, and he's turned the camera on. He starts to fidget with his rifle, hoping the squirrel's going to come in from the left there into shot, which it duly does. And you can hear buzzards flying around above. This is a UK buzzard from American Cousins. It's not your buzzard. Google it and you'll see what I'm talking about. And I would have guessed that would have been more worried about the buzzards than anything else. It seems completely disinterested in the buzzard's noise or their locality to it. A bit more interested in the dead squirrels on the ground. Quick sniff of that one. Ah, never mind, said. More interested in my belly. It's going to come and have breakfast. There's a quick look over. Bro checks him out, lines up on him. Takes him a nice shot to the head. I don't know whether the buzzards are getting upset because he's dropped to the ground or what's happened there. He's having a kick about. It's gone off camera to the left. Bro's panning around there just trying to find it. I'm going to fidget. There it is. It's more like it. it. Gives it the second one for good measure. I think the first shot was good anyway with the look of it. Definitely upset the buzzards. That was the last one he has today. Quick check of them. Near the crunchy grass. I should tell you what time of year it is. That front ledge is going to have to come off there. There's three on the ground there. One there. And the last one he shot there. An icy day. Five squirrels on the ground. Starting to get some better numbers here. We will be giving this place a lot more of our time and attention. 
all good shots, all taken clean. The Webby Powerpal does make a good mess of a squirrel's head. Excellent job. Nicely done, bro. Well done, mate. If you have any questions, can you please check the description below first to see if it's already been answered and for some useful links. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.